Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, Mi 90 Pro or what we call with love, Raphael, that is the nickname. So, today we're going to see how to install Siberia OS on this device. Now, the reason this particular ROM needs an installation video is because this ROM supports F2FS only. It is based on OSS vendor and when you do something like that it's an amazing rom but some people might get confused so i thought before i make a preview and before i make a complete review i should let you guys know how to go ahead and install it but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find the link to our telegram community where you can join us and support the channel last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button to support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kailash let's get going Alright, so what do we have here? We have a K20 Pro which has around 50% battery, all my data is backed up and I have an unlocked bootloader with TWRP. Now, over there I just did not tell you what I have. Basically, my intention was to tell you what you need. You need a K20 Pro which has more than 50% battery, all your data has been backed up, you need to have Orange Fox Recovery Stable installed. That of course cannot be done without an unlocked bootloader. Now whenever you follow my tutorials of how to install a ROM, make sure you back up every inch of data on your phone because I wipe everything to have the cleanest install, right? So if you're coming from MIUI or if you're coming from MIUI based ROM or MIUI vendor, the thing that I would recommend is you should go to settings, you should go to security, remove all the screen lock, face unlock, what not you have and remove all the Gmail accounts. Basically all the security related things on your phone, please go ahead and remove them before you actually go ahead and flash this ROM, right? Now what is the next thing that you would need? Now Siberia OS is a vanilla ROM, that means it doesn't come with G apps. So I'm using Flame G apps with this ROM and it's working just fine. You will need the ROM, you will need G apps and you will need Majisk. Why do you need Majisk you ask? Well because it is mentioned in the you know install instructions and uh, the developer knows the best because hey they made this ROM right. So this is the XDA thread page for this particular ROM and if you go to the first page over here right. So this is the install process recommended by the team. Install proper recovery with metadata encrypt. Backup your data if needed, wipe data cache Delvic vendor, format data to F2FS, flash Siberia, flash GFs, flash Magisk and if you want to stay decrypted you can flash DFE which of course we are not going to do. So considering that you have everything ready, we're going to boot into recovery and we will do format data and then the remaining steps. So we are already on this ROM but let's go to restart and let's go to recovery and then we can follow the remaining steps. All right, so just like that, we are in Orange Fox. First thing you need to do is go to wipe, format data, type in yes. All right, after that, go to reboot and select recovery. Once you have booted successfully, go to wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage, we will wipe everything. So now what we will do is we will go to manage partitions and select data, tick mark, change file system, select F2FS and swipe. So once that is done, you can go ahead and connect the phone to the computer and copy the three files. All right, so a quick recap before we proceed so that you don't get confused. We booted into recovery, we did a format data, then did a reboot recovery. We wiped all the partitions including internal storage. Then we formatted the data partition to F2FS and then we connected to the computer and copied over these three files. That is the ROM, GApps and Majisk. Now we're going to go ahead and flash them. So let's quickly do that. So first you need to select Siberia ROM, add to queue, flame GApps add to queue, Magisk 23, swipe to confirm flash. Now these are three files more than 1.5 gigabytes, so it will take anywhere between two to three minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so just like that, all the files have been flashed. We will go ahead and wipe cache and then we will simply go ahead and reboot system. Now remember, you have flash Magisk, so safety net might give you an error. And if you want to know how to fix safety net and device not certified with root access, there is a video on the channel, please go ahead and check it out. It has a step-by-step -step guide. Meanwhile, what we're looking at right now is the first boot of Siberia OS on the K20 Pro. This will take an anywhere between 45 seconds to two minutes, so please wait for the phone to boot up. 
All right, so as you can see over here, if we go to about and we go to the Android version, Android 11 Siberia OS 4.7, it has been flashed and you don't have the full version of Majisk. So, you know, nothing to say there, but ROM has been flashed successfully. You do have the Play Store installed. You do have Gcamp. So wait for the quick preview and the complete review, which is coming soon. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.